everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Watcher of Realms. For today's video, we're going to take a look at the event calendar. We have summons this weekend, and well, should you pull or should you save? The finest blood for the most untainted soul. So we have two different types, I guess, well, three really, of summons to talk about because we have our normal Friday through Sunday event, which is going to be just a simple two times event with boosted odds to pull a legendary hero from both the spirits and the divine summoning, aka the rare or the legendary crystals. But on Saturday, we also have an ancient summoning event with boosted chances to get specific heroes at like i think a 10 times rate so let's talk about the friday through sunday first so this really does affect everybody because this is one of those things where like everyone has diamonds crystals that you're accruing every day if you're playing right so like i let's see i have 34 not not a lot um i have a lot of diamonds now uh, but that's about it. It's not a crazy amount. It, those go fast. I do have two legendary crystals, so that's a thing. Normally, I do pull my legendary crystals during a two times event, so I might. It's something I might consider. But we also have to look at the dates overall and what's going on overall. So my advice for should you pull or should you save is going to be when it comes to these. Do the two times events going on here which i think is also described in our notice i really think that any newer players should just summon um i mean by newer players i guess i should clarify my definition of that because some people might start on day one and play crazy for a few days and be super advanced in one week other people might play very lightly and take a month to do the same thing that one person does in a week um, I would say if you are at the point where you can farm mythic gear on all the gear raids, right? Like not stage 18, just at least the combination of legendary and mythic gear to where you're able to improve your heroes. I would consider you at the point where you can start being pickier and maybe start saving. But if you're not at that point yet where you're able to, to at least get some set like gear raid 3 and gear raid 1 or gear raid 2 and gear raid 1, um legend or mythic red gear then i think you should pull every weekend i think it's silly to wait um you need to develop your roster and have things worth building you don't want to be sitting on a bunch of heroes that i mean unless you have plenty that you just haven't taken the time to build yet but if you're lacking heroes to progress in those areas and you're feeling really stuck in that very early game stages of trying to get past the hump of like you know epic and legendary gear now legendary and mythic gear if you're try if you're struggling to get into that next hump um you might want to pull every weekend and i think there's no regrets to be had with that because you need to develop your account you need to have stuff worth building like okay there's gonna be a corridor of glory level up your heroes well what if you have nothing to level up like you know you kind of want to you want to level up your heroes with events and stuff the best you can, but you just need to work on your account and you need to get heroes worthy of being worked on. So I think for a new player, the way I just defined it, summoning this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday on the two times, just do it. I mean, even if you're th worried about what's coming for Christmas, that's still almost 20 days away at Christmas. Uh, the weekend for summoning, okay, the 22nd, over two weeks away is still when we're probably going to have Christmas holiday events. So that's plenty of time to accrue more summons, especially for a new account that's grinding a lot. If you're progressing campaign, you're going to get a ton of diamonds and summons. If you're pushing in other areas, you'll get more diamonds too. And pushing and maybe you eventually get to the point of farming some other content doing better in arena, getting better shop bonuses, you know. I think it's safe to say those newer people should just progress and don't wait wait on the calendar within reason. Like don't summon 
Tuesday, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Wait until Fridays to summon if you can. If you're at least beyond that first, like, I would, I don't know. I want to say beyond the first week, but if you have a a, P, a group of heroes that you're working on, still trying to level up a few, playing around, pushing a little campaign every day, or pushing something else every day, and you can get by, but you're not progressing dramatically, do that. Just work on things a little bit, and then wait until Friday. Uh, to do your bigger summons definitely need to progress so i think when it comes to um your divine and spirit summons those players that are beyond that point you can farm your mythic gear just fine you're getting mythic gear you've got your your gear raids are doing okay maybe you're not at the best maybe you're not at 18 or 19 yet but maybe you're getting there um and you feel like you have a good roster but you just need more specific heroes, maybe, or you've you've still got a few people you haven't built since your last summons. So you've got stuff to do. I think it's best to wait for those people. I'm not saying wait for next week, because we don't know what next week is going to be. I'm saying hold as much as we can for the holiday events to come. I think saving for the holiday events, if your account has enough going on to keep you busy as it is, Saving for the holiday events is probably going to be worth it. We can hope there's going to be another one plus one event or maybe something new. Maybe there'll be a guaranteed event. Um, They did kind of tease that they might bring back the guaranteed heroes like Captain Rev sooner rather than it later or sooner than you think or something was worded in one of the things I just read recently. Um, I think it was one of the updates. So with that in mind... Maybe they're going to bring a guaranteed event back for the holidays. Maybe you're going to be at a summon for a 250 guaranteed Captain Rev again. So you want to have something on deck. So I think because of the holidays and how good they're doing with events, it's all the more reason to save right now. Um, but next week, they're probably just let's be honest, guys. We say let's save until Christmas. Everyone is saying let's save until Christmas. But... You know darn well that the week before Christmas, they're going to give us an amazing 10 times event that we cannot resist, right? Let's be honest. They're going to give us an amazing 10 times that most people are going to want to pull on. And people are going to give in and, and it's fair. Like, I don't know because we don't know what to expect for real, for real. So... I expect the game to be smart and bait us because that's what they should do. It's a gotcha game after all. They are they are out to make money. So I expect them to give us a really good event next weekend. So if Ed, there's any weekend to not summon and to save, I think it's this weekend. Unless you're unless you're really at the point where you have you don't have good enough heroes to progress and work on your content, then you just need to pull every weekend. Now, let's talk about Ancient Summoning. So, Ancient Summoning here. We have my favorite hero that I want, my most wanted hero, who's Northerner and Chaotic. Um, so good. I really, really want her. Just reading her kit. She's one of those kits where some people you want to test them, see how they're going to be in content. Other people, you just, like, read their kit and you're like, okay, this is really cool like everything about her just seems really interesting with boosting rage the bl everything with the blades i mean it just it sounds fantastic and she even brings a bleed like she just sounds like a beast like i feel like she's one of those you don't need to put in game to tell she's amazing um i want her so i feel like with that in mind i want her and when it comes to the lords i don't have the legendary northerner lord I don't have King Hars. <coughs> so Elder would be an amazing pull for me. So I and then we have a new Supreme Arbiter faction hero. I know right now it only shows Isoterras, but that's because the Supreme Arbiters have not been added to the game yet. That will start on the 9th. It'll officially be a Supreme Arbiter as well. If you guys are confused at why you don't see that there, that's why. Um, so that's this is a really cool banner. And because they've been doing ancient summoning events a lot more frequently than they used to, I used to say if it's only one a month and you're just holding on your summons for no reason, you just want chances to get the good legendary lords. Don't wait forever. 
if they're only doing them once a month. But now this will be like the third one in a month in the past month. Um, in the past 30 days, this will be like the third event, right? So I, if they're going to start doing these more frequently and this is going to become a thing, I don't know if it is or not for sure. But if it is, now is the time to be selective. Only pull on banners you really want. If there's a 10 times event like this weekend and you don't want the heroes, definitely do not pull. Wait, because a couple more weeks, there might be another event, right? That's the reality as well. We also have to think about the fact that there's going to be the normal ancient summoning pools. So this might be a 10 times for specific heroes like shown here, but maybe the next ancient summoning event is just a boosted, you know, normal summoning event overall where no everyone is equal to be summoned, which could be better for you because there might be other specific heroes you want to get more than these heroes. So if that's the case, you should not pull on this banner because you should wait until having your best chance as possible to summon that Twin Fiend or the A1 Twin Fiend, or you want that Laia or Morrigan or whatever you may want. Um, if it's not these heroes, don't pull this weekend because, yeah, this is 10 times the chances in a small pool of heroes. Keep in mind the legendary lords and the heroes that you can pull from ancient summoning like it's it's a smaller pool for just the legendary lords in general like that's that is a thing and if they're boosting the chances to get one hero like elder i mean at the end of the day elder is going to be pretty highly pulled because that there's only so many legendary lord category heroes in ajax in the game so keep that in mind as well. So I kind of think that's where I'm at. Like, all right, so we have all these new heroes are going to be added to the pool as well. They are going to be part of Ancient Summoning, the new Supreme Arbiters. So this is a fun chance to summon. But let's say you really want to get the, the Praetis, the legendary Lord for the Supreme Arbiters. This is not the week to do so because he's not boosted. Elder is. And so more than likely, if you pull a legendary lord from your ancient summons, you're going to get elder. There's a very small chance you're actually going to get Praetis. So again, something else to keep in mind. But hope this conversation was helpful, guys. I will be doing summons on my normal Friday for my Friday summoning party live on YouTube. And if you guys want me to do your summons, make sure you get in on my Discord. I have a sign up for summon section, which I will post the announcement for um, probably today. And anyone could just add on. If we don't have too many, I might just end early or we might just do a little bit of a chill stream and I'll hang out and just play a little bit after the summoning party. We'll see, depending on how it goes. We might only have a few people because a lot of people are trying to save for Christmas. But if you're one of those people that you really want to pull on Friday and you have a two times and you prefer to pull everything during two times events, then I mean, there's definitely a two times event. So go right ahead. Let me know if you want me to do your summons. Hopefully we'll have some fun. I will not be live streaming for this event here. I will not. Um, I will be on Twitch playing another game on Sunday, but I will not be doing this for YouTube live um, as a summoning party. If I do my own summons, I will, of course, record it, but that's about it. So that's all for this weekend, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.